Today is World Sight Day, which falls on the second Tuesday, second Thursday rather, of October. And in the UK, robots are providing new hope in delicate eye operations where a pair of steady hands is a must. The world's first such operation inside an eye took place at an Oxford hospital. Our UK correspondent Xi Jia has more. Like walking on a tightrope, operating within the eye is not a forgiving task. The smallest fault triggers failure. This 70-year-old priest from the UK recently had a membrane lifted from one of his retinas. The tool was a pair of much silver hands from a robot. After years of struggling, he finally got his sight back. You say robot, we say assistant for the surgeon. We try to enhance the capabilities of the surgeon. So we assist him in making really tiny, small movements with high precision. So it's a ten times more precise. William Beaver, a priest at St. Mary the Virgin Church from Oxford, describes his vision before the procedure. With the membrane growing over his retina, he said it's like looking in a hall of mirrors at a fairground. Last year, he was recruited for a research trial involving 12 patients. Each will have an eye operation done by the robot. What they could be lucky enough to see is a vision of the future of eye surgery. Operating inside the eye requires 100% accuracy. Each throb of the heart and every pulse of blood can hinder surgeons. This makes taking the membrane off the retina without causing damage tricky. Professor McLaren, the doctor who performed the operation, said this experimental procedure was carried out by the robotic dissection device. The remotely controlled robot can lift a membrane a hundred of a millimeter thick. From the retina at the back of Beaver's right eye. The robot hand.、Um, the robot doesn't have a heartbeat. It doesn't drink any coffee. It's completely still. Okay. In fact, the movement is so precise that when the door opens in the operating room, or if the patient breathes, we can see more movement than with the robot. So the robot will make the operations much, much more precise. As the world's first robotic operation inside the eye. It potentially could revolutionize the way such conditions are treated. The surgeons use a joystick and touch screen to control the robot while monitoring its progress through the operating microscope. The robot compensates for unwanted shakes of the surgeon's hands, and researchers are looking to other ways the robot can advance eye surgery in the future. I think it's going to do two things. Um, it's going to open up the opportunity of doing new operations that we currently can't do. For instance, injecting gene therapy under the retina or operations with stem cells. These are very precise. The surgery we have at the moment is not enough to deliver these new treatments, but with the robot system, we can. The other thing it might do is it might make more common procedures safer and perhaps more consistent, because all surgeons would have a very, very good skill. Maybe we can operate when we're older and a bit shaky. Professor McLaren says current technology with laser scanners and microscopes allows doctors to monitor retinal diseases at the microscopic level, but this level is beyond the physiological limit of what the human hand can operate on. Now William Beaver is recovering with everything under control. Professor McLaren could use the robot to proceed with his experiment in retinal gene therapy. Using it to place a fine needle under the retina and inject fluid through it, this holds promise for treating blindness. I personally think the best opportunities for us are to design new operations. We need to think: what can we do now with a robot that we can't do with a human hand? There are many, many diseases affecting the eye which are incurable, cause blindness, particularly macular degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa. If we're going to treat these diseases with stem cells or gene therapy, we need, to, we need a robot system or something similar for the precision to get under the retina to deliver the treatment without damaging it. The operation has carried out the research trial with 12 people in the UK. It aims to collect stronger evidence to show that robots can do a much accurate and precise work than people do. Professor McLaren told me that within the next three to five years, they may use the robot's capacity on a routine basis, provided safety is ensured. Xiaxi CCTV, Oxford, UK.